I wish I could say welcome to day one of quarantine, but it's only day one of the vlog. It's actually already been a long five days of quarantine. I haven't been outside much at all, just sometimes to walk Coco. He's our dog. He's actually right here. Coco. Oh, and that's my mom. Well, I have a lot of work since everyone has been at home. Um, a lot of laundry, cooking, breakfast, lunch, um, dinner. I leave the house every two to three days. Um, just to go to the market and buy the things that we need. Um, when I leave the house, I put on a mask and I use latex gloves um, to protect my hands, especially when I go to the market because there's a lot of things that you have to be touching. Okay, it's day nine. My mom and I are getting ready to go grocery shopping. We're gonna head down in just a minute. We're just putting on our gloves and masks first. So we're at Publix, which is a supermarket chain in Florida. So the shelves are really empty and the lines are really long. They just made an announcement that everyone must be wearing a mask to cover their nose and mouth at all times. They also set up these markers to make sure that people stand at least six feet apart when they're in the lines. Okay, we just got back from the grocery store. We got Emma some of her favorite chips. Ems, look. I actually feel pretty good. It's just been a little bit hard because everything's online now. My karate's online, my classes are online. It's just a little tough. For fun, I've been hanging out with you, playing video games, watching TV. It's been okay. It's just that I really want to go back to school for fourth grade. It's day 11. Um, today really hasn't been the best day ever. Um, I've cried probably four times. I miss Matt, my boyfriend, a lot. I think that's been one of the hardest parts of being in quarantine for me. I mean, we FaceTime every single day without fail, but it's just, it's not the same. I'm used to seeing him in person every single day and that's just not possible anymore. I think what makes it harder is just not knowing when things are gonna get better. I am feeling okay. I've been going to most of my Zoom classes. Um, I have been working for uh, Universal Music Group, so I've been luckily pretty busy with both of those things. I miss you the most. I also miss like all of my other friends. I miss New York a lot. Uh, I miss my apartment a lot. I miss going to like real classes, especially because my major is very hands-on. I've been trying to stay hopeful. I really do think that we'll have in-person classes in the fall and I'll be able to move back to New York and see all my friends and see you. And I'm really happy about that, so, and grateful. Yeah. It's day 14. It's been exactly two weeks and I've just had so much time on my hands. Um, I've been doing just about anything to distract myself from just being bored and I've actually picked up a few old hobbies. I used to do a ton of origami, so I've just been looking for step-by-step -step instructions online and so far I've made quite a few animals. I've also been teaching myself some piano and guitar using uh, YouTube tutorials. I'm not very good at either of them, but it definitely passes the time. I think it's pretty fun. Puzzles are also a great way to pass the time. I've completed like four. I started with a 300 piece one, then a 500 piece one, and I'm like currently in the middle of a 1000 piece one. And of course, I've also been keeping busy with Zoom classes. I have those every day, except Mondays. I don't have class on Mondays, which is pretty nice. Using Zoom has definitely been an adjustment, but it's really not that bad. And I've also found another great use for Zoom. My friends and I have been having Zoom meetings and those have been fun. Moa! Gabby! How are you feeling? I've been good. I've just been at home in Florida. Before quarantine, I was actually studying abroad in London. So I'm like very devastated that I had to be cut short. I miss my friends. Like I miss you so much. I miss like going out to restaurants. I miss everything. And that's why I just like hope like by the fall, everything's back to normal. Day 30, a whole month. And I remember thinking a week felt long. It's been hard. There's been good days and bad days. And I think at first I was just sad because I was constantly missing everything, but now it's more like I'm excited for the time I'll be able to do all those things again. I can't wait to see my friends from home and be able to go visit Matt. To go out to eat and to see my family. To reuniting with my friends who I haven't seen in a while. To go try new food again. To get back to the gym. To pick up all the rest of my stuff from my college dorm. To see my friends. To go to a bar, drink beer, and watch live sports again to go back to my after school engineering camp. And there's just so much to look forward to and I can't wait. 